How you guys doing? You know, I'm back at it. Oh my gosh. My girl took my shirt and going on a date. Anyways. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Let me turn this air on because it's God. It's some baby bar. How's everybody day going? Um. Today we're going on this episode. We're going to talk about self worth and what's the cost. You know what I mean? My friend, he got a song called Cost. It's going to play, you know, later in the radio. I'm turn it up. Cause I like that song. But uh, but uh, his name is Lakewood. I'll, ta- I'll put his name in there. His Instagram. But uh, but yeah, today a lot of people have a, have a hard time figuring out what what their worth is, and a lot of times people just really need that time by themselves, mentally, physically, and spiritually, to truly understand who they are and what what they deserve in life. And I feel like once people really actually do that, because people are so quick to hop over to the next uh, to the next person, right? So quick, whether it be boy or girl, so quick to hop off hop on to the next one and a lot of times they just excuse oh i'm young i want to experience life well experiencing life ain't ain't about getting stds everywhere i'm not saying <laughs> not saying that you will some people play it safe but some people just really just need relationships um as a emotional support but you guys need to a lot of times you guys need to stop doing that once you i, I had a um I had an ex that was, I re, once I realized she was, like, I felt like I was holding her back because uh, I was that emotional support, but I had that, and the hardest thing I did was, like, break up, when we, you know, breaking up with somebody because of, because you feel like you're holding her back, and once I did that, you know, she progressed. You know, she thanked me later after she was mad at me. But, she, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of times people just need that time, you know, to understand what they want to do in life. Oh, this is it. Right this is it right here. Okay. Okay. Like what? Yeah. 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 That's 
song is basically talking about, he talks about how people don't really, like, appreciate you until you're dead. People don't, people don't tell you, like, you know, you notice when everybody dies, they always got some good shit to say. But while they're alive, nobody probably even hits them up. Like, nobody checks up on them. Nobody gives, nobody gives a damn. basically what he just saying and that that happens a lot that's why it's so important to know your own work know yourself know your work like drake said know you don't know your part but uh, it is it is that's one thing to uh hold on, i'm gonna be touching the screen a lot because i don't know where i'm going Exit 274. Right. Anyways. What was I saying? Oh, that's why it's important to know your own self. You don't go off of... If you know yourself, you know your worth. <laughs> you, won't, you won't have to go off of anybody else's uh, predetermined alle uh, is it allegations or predetermined... Whatever, predetermined shit, predetermined opinion on you. And uh, the easiest way, I don't know, like, I don't know, there's, it really is not the easiest, the easy way, an easy way, or a hard way, or whatever. Hard way is not doing it, and not taking that time to yourself. The easiest way, I want to say, is every once in a while, cut, cut everybody off. Not everybody, but you know what I mean. When I say cut everybody off, I mean that person that you depend on, depend to hang out on, chill out with, all that other stuff. Get some space. Not too much space. If you're in a relationship, you can't obviously get that, that much space. Okay? Unless you just, if you really need to, if you're still trying to figure out who you are, it's probably not good to be in a relationship anyway. Because unless you know how to like, unless you know how to, be in a relationship and and like find out new stuff about yourself which is not a lot of which is things not a lot of people know that you know not a lot of people know how to do that but if you do know how to do that that's you know that's great I, I think yeah that's great but um, a lot of times because it's like you're figuring out two people at the same you know when you're in a relationship you're figuring out the person you're dating what they don't like and what they like and what all this other stuff and then you're figuring out you're trying to you know, see what you're, what you're into. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I'm gonna try. So you're experimenting on yourself and on um, somebody else, which is a lot. It can be emotionally like. Uh, sorry, my phone was doing some overheat. It said it overheated. I don't know, bro. It's not even that damn. Like it's yeah, it's sitting in a window, but I got the air on in here and it's being overly dramatic. Anyways. Nobody's gonna get, nobody really is gonna get equality and, and, and all this other stuff and people like stop putting fingers and the only, I think the only thing, nah, I ain't gonna say that, I was about to say, I was about to say some political, some political stuff that's probably gonna have my stuff torn down, bro, come on, man, yo, come on, bro, I gotta get over, this is why. This is why people get into accidents. Cause they do this right here. Because nobody in the world, nobody in London wants to let you over. And then, and then when you, when you get into an accident, you gotta explain to the cop why everybody was being that piece of crap. Piece of crap. Anyways, we going to the west side. Yeah, so <laughs> I keep I keep getting off track, bruh. But yeah, it's about knowing yourself. I knew myself. 
uh, I don't know if I said this in an earlier video, but I, I knew myself at a young age. So nobody could ever tear down the perception or the, the image that I created for myself because I'm myself. I know my flaws, I know my weaknesses, I know my this, that, and the other. I know what I got to work on um, and, and what I got to keep. Because, like, I always tell people it's okay to have a little bit of narcissism because, and like, and I, and I say like that, like that much, right there. Because if you if you don't, you're gonna be too hooked on with everybody's everybody's opinion. Oh my God, I don't want to go out outside without without. I can never leave the house without lashes or, or a wig or or my Jordans or my or, or Balenciagas. Or whatever, whatever you got going on for yourself, whatever you like, whatever is your armor for your insecurity, because that's all it is. Anything, if you can't go outside, if you're not comfortable with going outside, butt ass naked, because I know I am. I just can't. But I, <laughs> with not with nothing on, nope. Of course, I don't have makeup. But if I if I ain't just whatever and let the world judge me as I am. I don't give a damn, you know? Unshaven and all, just, just pull out. Outside, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, he's making, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, now what? Back to Adam and Eve days. Once you have that, once you have like, that much zero, F-A-W-K-S to give, Stop caring. That's what. That's why they call Karens. Anybody? All these Karens out here. They be caring too much. Where's your manager? Why does it matter? Why does it matter where my manager's at? You can't talk to them. You caring too much. You caring. Stop being a Karen. Now I'm not saying it's not. It's not. I'm not saying not to care about other people. Because. That's called selfishness. But I'm talking about their opinions. Their opinion base, especially if it's negative. If it's negative, of course. Like, and everybody says, oh, it's hard, it's hard. You know why it's hard to take? Because it's because you don't, you never took the time to, to fully accept yourself as you are, which is what, you know, you have, you have to do. You have to accept yourself. You have to accept yourself. You ain't got you if you got if you ain't got no nothing if you skin and bones or if you nothing but nothing but meat. Accept yourself. Not everybody's after not everybody's after what you think they're after. There's a lot there's somebody out there for everybody. You know? So as long as you have that confidence, which is like her, girls always be like, oh, I like a guy with confidence. I love a guy with confidence. But what they don't realize is we like girls with confidence. If you're a female with confidence, if you're a girl with confidence, that's like, that's really attractive. It's like when a guy has a confidence. When a guy has confidence. It's the same thing. Nobody wants, nobody wants a, a girl who can't leave the house because...
too because a lot of times you'll find yourself uh, subconsciously comparing your lives, which is something I have trouble with. Even as, even as a person that is like that don't that doesn't really care about a people's opinions, I find myself comparing my lives. Like, dang, this dude's 20 years old and he's a millionaire already. This dude's 24 years old and and this and that and the other. And I got this many talents. I could have been way past this because. I mean, that just leads to yeah I got I got yeah I got a lot of talents I realize I got a lot of talents that I could be portraying and, and doing this stuff but the fact that I'm sitting up here worried about somebody else that's already achieved and worked hard and all this other stuff I'm missing out on my opportunity you know more and more because of how much time I'm taking acknowledging their their achievements so that's another thing. <laughs> people say people say comparison is the death of joy or something like that. Somebody said that. That's true. It can be. And then and like yeah, so I don't know man. The best the best advice I would ever give anybody is to take that time to yourself. Make sure you know yourself, love yourself fully. Flaws and all, you gotta love yourself. Flaws and all, before anybody can, before anybody can love your flaws. If you want somebody to love your flaws, you don't love your flaws. You know, I want. You know, I me mean? you got you got the people out there that I want. I want somebody to love me for all my flaws, all my flaws. You know, even the holes in my drawers and the socks in my. You know, say, you know? They, but but they get homes and then things. Damn. About my about myself, or I don't like this, that, and the other. Or I gotta change this, that, and the other. I tell you, um, I guess I can go to my, I can go up north to all my friends, visit all my friends, and ask them, have I ever changed? Like, what did I ever change? Did anything ever change about me? And niggas, they, they literally, I've asked this question before, and they told me, no, man, you always been the same, crazy. That's true. The only thing I can tell, I can say the only thing that's changed about me is that I've matured. I've learned things. Learned things I didn't know in the past. It's the only thing. Other than that, I'm still, I'm still off the hinges from, that, from time to time. <laughs> I just woke up, so that's why I wasn't even as hype as I was when I saw it. <laughs> But yeah, that, uh, that's one thing, that's one thing this whole world got to do, man, it is actually, people would be like, people are so quick to influence and say self-love and, and all the others, all this other stuff, but a lot of times they'd be the ones struggling with it, and then, and then you got like, everybody talking about support, 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 support. This, this, that, and the other. People, if people just like, if people, if everybody got off the internet, we wouldn't even have as much problems as we as we did as we would as we do today. It's a whole bunch of problems, a whole bunch of hate, it's a whole bunch of killing. A whole bunch of crazy kidnapping. Like a lot of times, these kidnappers be finding out where people are on social media because of social media. This whole world needs to go. It needs to be like at least a week. That has to be. A, I want. There should be like a week where the world, or at least the United States, because I know it's not the whole world. Because of, uh, other countries. Never mind, because some countries are, are really like biased when it comes to uh, 
I'd like to do something. You know how much traffic that's going to be? <laughs> I just thought about that. That's a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. But still, it needs to be a day where people just get out the house. And maybe two that use traffic. Traffic. I don't know. That's a lot of controlling. So maybe, I mean maybe, maybe we just like just stick to the first thing I said. We need like a week of no technology. Because a lot of us live off of it. We can't even talk to real people anymore. And it's, and it's crazy. It's sad. And this, and this coronavirus is, is like the... Uh, don't help. Growing rise don't help. All this stay six feet apart. Don't talk to nobody. It reminds me of um, it's like they're limiting our social. It's like they're limiting our social interaction, so they can have more control over us with the technology. Whoa! Did I just break the fucking matrix? Maybe. While also. Never mind. I'm not gonna. But, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm do this right now. But, um, she's gonna keep blowing my phone out. Uh, but, uh, like, I'm doing something. And you know I'm doing something. But, yeah, I don't know. At the end of it, I'm gonna just keep having a decliner call because she's literally gonna keep calling me. I guess I should end it soon. I'm gonna end it soon. But, uh, I'm gonna leave y'all with this. I know the music stopped because she kept calling me. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Be who you are to the full extent, no matter what nobody says. <laughs> unless you, you know. Unless you, unless your your thing is killing people, then you should probably stay in the house and uh, think about that. But take the time to yourself, just so you know who you are. You know, a lot of people go off pre, just go off their first their first thought. Oh, I'm this. No, you're not. Think again. Think about it. Think about it long and hard. And if you and if you claim to be something, look it up. Make sure you're that. Read a book. Don't even read. You don't have to read a book. Look up some words. Look up stuff you don't know. Do research on stuff if you really want to use the technology. But but learn what your interest is. Find out. Find your interest before you go seeking approval and attention from somebody. You know. I know. I feel like this video is like everywhere when it comes to subjects. And it's because, I feel like it's because I cut off, because it cut off like so many times. <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff going on. This is why, like I, I, I really, this is, it's Sunday. And I really do record this stuff on Monday and post, edit it and post it. But it's like, I, I wanted, I've been wanting to do it on Sunday so I have more time. But yeah. Like Tyler the Creator said, find some time to do something, even if that something is by yourself, alone, watch a movie, go get something to eat, you know, go on those triple X websites and do what you gotta do, um, <laughs> but understand, understand yourself, because once you understand yourself, you can understand other people, and it's hard to, it's hard to, you know, you're like, what are you talking about, Will? How am I how am I gonna understand myself if I you know and understand other people? I think that was my friend. But um basically if you understand yourself, you're you're able you're, you're able to put your you know, your feet in somebody else's shoes for a second. And if somebody has like a problem or something, you're, you're able to understand what they're talking about and why it's a problem. But <laughs> um but yeah, you know my clothing line. It's not. I'm not wearing it. I should be. I think I. I think I wore it in my last video. 
Scar Rebellion Society and it's literally focused on being yourself to the full extent and uh, going against the stereotypes that society has set out. Rebelling against the stereotypes society set out. Even if they're from secret societies. But that's another topic. I, <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Love you. You love yourself. Make that money. Don't act funny. I don't know. <laughs> I'm out.